Hey, what's up guys? It's Sick, and today we're gonna talk about something kind of interesting. Uh, so first things first, let's get this out of the way. I cut my hair out. Um, yeah, I'm not really gonna get into that, I guess. No, I'm an overshare. Uh, I have some stuff going on in my life that uh, just made me feel doing something drastic, like cutting off my hair. I'm not super happy about it, but maybe it'll come back. Uh, maybe it won't. Um, so I don't know. Uh, apparently, um, I have all these grays on the side of my head. Uh, so that's not great. And as you can see, my face is still the same as always. Anyhow, so today we want to talk about something pretty fucking cool. Um, one of the one of the big challenges we have with these plugins, these chat with this name class plugins that are intended to be just out of the box, do the thing with as little customization as possible um, is uh, spell handling, spell set handling. Now, if you use MQ2 Shaman, for example, which is the class that I'm going to use for this video, um, we have loadouts uh, and that should actually say, yeah, it's uh, not stands, it's loadout. So loadout is your spell set, right? So we have heal, hybrid and DPS. And all this changes is what spells you have memorized, right? So if I click on hybrid instead, um, it's swapping out a couple of, uh, like instead of using three recklesses, it uses two recklesses and throws me up another dot. Um, if I go back, you'll see that it goes back to uh, regular. It takes off that one and throws in recourse. Or we have uh, our DPS loadout, which has more dots and less not more dots um now this is cool for most people this this is what works but you'll run into situations where you want a particular spell memorized and whatnot and we have our byos function which is bring your own spells the problem with byos is byos is like hey bring your own spells you're going to handle your own buffs we're not going to fuck with your gems we're not going to put them back anywhere that they were that's kind of a pain in the ass for some people um, let's just go back to normal heal real quick. Um, so it's going to load up our heal stuff. Now, what I'm going to do is show you a new thing we have, uh, allowing you to designate a custom BYOS spell set. Now there's a few things to know about this. Uh, we're not going to store or save your spell set in I and I or, uh, it, it, any sort of, we're not storing it anywhere. So there's nothing to edit. And one of the goals with these plugins is we're not sending somebody to go, to go and edit the INI if we can ever possible, uh, ever possibly avoid that. So we're not going to do that. I just want to get that out of the way ahead of time. So if you're thinking, sweet, I have an INI, I can go and drop, drop my spell set in. Absolutely not. That is not what this is going to do. This is what this will look like, however. Um, so if I turn on uh, BYOS, right, now I can unmemorize spells, okay, just like you would expect, and you can memorize your own spells. Now, the problem with that is if I click off, like, um, you know, if I click off uh, Vampire Focusing, you notice I'm not going to recast it on myself because that's how BYOS works. Now, what we can do is uh, I'm... Um, yeah, let me show you these. So... The way the BYOS works and the majority of spells, this is not exclusively fact, but the majority of spells that are going to get used are going to be the ones that the plugin says it uses, okay? So for example, here, Wintry Gift and Polar Gift, it shows both of them for Gift DD, which means we're storing two spells and we can use both of them. So now let's say for, for whatever reason you wanted to have these appear instead, uh, and as part of your, your BYOS custom set. So we're just gonna put them in uh, slot one or two. Um, the BYOS is going to mainly use, with very few exceptions, only the spells that it says. Like here it says, our Dissident Roar spell is Composite Roar. Um, we're not going, if you memorize Dissident Roar or whatever the, the bullshit um, 101 version is, we're not going to use it. We actually use special logic to determine which one's best out of those. Or like, Effervescent counter bias at 118, right? So that's a heal. Uh, where is it? Heals effervescent. I forget where that one is. 
There we go. It's it's under utility beneficial heals. Anyway, so you see we have effervescent counter bias. Uh, we don't normally use that these days. You can use it with BYOS. Um, but so if you were like, if you slapped in healing counter bias, we're not going to use it. You slapped in effervescent counter bias. This is something that the plugin says, hey, we have and, and we'd like to use. Anyway, so let's fill these up real quick. Um, for the sake of this video, so I don't have to spend a whole lot of time, we're just going to pretend all of these spells are spells that the plugin says that it can use, okay? So if I slap any one of these in here that we can't use because it doesn't say that it uses it, I don't want to hear a bunch of grief about, oh my god, sick. I did exactly what you did. I memorized all level one spells at level 120 and it didn't use any of them and I'm not sure what to do with myself. Uh, I, I sincerely and emphatically absolutely don't want to hear that. Um, 17, 20. I should have been paying attention to which ones I was memorizing, but we're, like I said, we're just slapping some bullshit in here. Uh, for some reason, I want to keep gate memorized. Let's just say I want to do that now. And again, uh, you can still mem you can still custom memorize whatever. Um, it's obviously just not going to use gate, but maybe that's something you want to personally use. Like, for example, mage, maybe you want to uh, memorize your group cough and you still want to do other buffing and stuff and whatnot. So uh, that, that's just, these are going to give all of the plugins a bunch of uh, flexibility and it's going to allow us to uh, more easily release the, un, you know, the, the future uh, plugins that we haven't released yet, the, the six we haven't released. Um, so we will just do like, let's say that that's not one that the plugin uses. Um, and we will say maybe levitation is important. You want to keep memorized. We have a bunch of shit here uh, memorized. And again, uh, these should be when you're doing your own set. They should be spells that the plugin says it can use, like the three recklesses here, or mending, if for some reason you hate the game and want to use mending line. Um, you know, squall, recourse, intervention, all of these spells the plugin knows how to use, so you could load up any of these and use them. If you use a spell that's not in here, the plugin isn't automatically going to use them. There might be circumstances that you do want that anyway because you're manually doing something or you're calling something with a hotkey, like using gate if you hate AAs and whatever, or maybe, uh, you know, thorn wilting, or maybe you want to cast levitation or whatever. Anyway, I'm just showing you as examples. Anyway, so we're already in BYOS, uh, uh, or excuse me, we're in sham BYOS and it says BYOS is on. I uh, will do sham BYOS custom and it'll say you do not have a BYOS custom set. Now, don't forget when you turn on a uh, a plugin command and BYOS on with the slash command is going to save it. So let's say I logged out right now. Uh, I used the slash command just now for BYOS to be on. If I logged out right now and logged back in or unloaded the plugin and loaded the plugin again, BYOS is still going to remain on, which means I'm not going to, I'm not going to change these gems because BYOS is on. If I just turned it on like I did at the start of the video with by clicking BYOS and I logged out and logged back in, when you log in, BYOS is going to be turned off and you're going to memorize your spells again, okay? But let's say I like to run a special set that I always run. I'm logging in for the first time for the day. I keep BYOS turned on with that slash command. So every time I load in, it doesn't fuck up my gems. I'm going to type sham BYOS custom set. Boom, and it's going to say uh, setting up your BYOS custom spell set. And uh, it's going to keep these gems in that order that I have in my thing. Now, if you notice, I had clicked off that uh, Talisman of the Vampire um, or whatever of the uh, Vampire focusing. Now, I'm in custom spell set, so we can still do buffs, right? So we're going to do buffs. We're going to buff everybody as if we were in a regular spell set. And then as soon as I was done, I put Doomshades Pandemic in slot six. And you can see here, Doomshades Pandemic uh, is in gem six. And uh, that's pretty great, right? So that'll work for all of the uh, all of the buffs here. Um, and I'll do all of my regular sort of stuff. Whereas before, if you were in BYOS, you wouldn't do any of that. Plug and go ham. 
So you'll see that we're like, all right, let's uh, let's do some buffs. We're gonna memorize Talis Talisman of the Usurper. Memorizing Attentive Spirit. Um, casting some shit again. Why is my cloak not casting? Go. See? So uh, now, because I'm in this custom set, if I unmemorize gate, for example, um, I'm going to say like, whoa, hey, I'm in BYOS custom. I want to memorize. I want to put my gems back to what I set them, which is the sham BYOS custom. We'll see that set here. Gem nine is gate. Uh, sham BYOS custom clear. Now let's say I want to clear this. I can type clear and then it's cleared. I'm still in BYOS. You see, I'm still in BYOS. I just cleared it because I want to change this to Blood of Myon, right? So Sham uh, BYOS custom set. Or let's say that I had a gem that was empty, right? Uh, Sham BYOS custom clear. Let's say I had a gem that was empty. BYOS custom set. Uh, oops. Keep doing that. Sham BYOS custom set. All right. So if you notice, there's nothing for gem nine. So gem eight is this, gem 10 is that, right? So what it's going to say is, uh, I don't have anything designated for my BYOS custom set for this particular gem. Let me see what I would normally put in this gem. And if that's something that I can accommodate, which depending on what else is memorized is not always the case, then I'll memorize that. So in this case, the BYOS custom set is missing gem nine, but we're still going to memorize Reckless Renewal because that is what would normally be in the slot. Um, and this will actually have a, uh, you'll have a grayed out BYOS thing here. Um, or a B, like custom set. There'll be an option in the in the UI to allow you to uh, have this on and then cl you know click that custom set and it'll set the gems that you have so you don't have to type it out. Um, and then if you unclick it, it'll clear them so you don't have to type out the clear as well. Anyway, this is going to be for all of the spell class plugins. This will allow us to do some other one-offs that we, uh, one-off spells or weird edge cases that we didn't want to add toggles or options for. Those kinds of things are going to take time. Um, so it's not going to be overnight for all of that stuff, but let me give you an example of the idea that we're talking about, right? So if you are, let's say you're lower level stuff or you're on uh, like Rizlona or something and you need to keep Enduring Breath up, right? We didn't want to add an option, uh, like an option for everybody, use Enduring Breath, use like all old bullshit that you probably don't use in like the modern game, for example. Uh, but we recognize the usefulness of it. Now, to do that now, you would have to memorize it and then you would have to, uh, you know, um, cast it yourself, right? So we could add it to a spell that it recognizes and then if it's memorized, you would use it, which is what we would do. And then that way, if you wanted to use uh, your BYOS custom set uh, or just regular BYOS with uh, something, something like that, something like Enduring Breath, then it would be able to say like, hey, uh, like I have a custom spell set and uh, my dudes need Enduring Breath. I'm going, I'm going to cast Enduring Breath on them. So there's little things like that that'll allow us to add future stuff and add more enhancement, particularly for lower level um, or uh, or whatnot. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, this is really easy to use. I, 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 the few people that have tried it have not asked me a single question about it. They've just been like, oh yeah, that does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, there might be some weird one-off things where, uh, because of BYOS handling and, and non-BYOS handling, some things may need to be adjusted, but I've gone through everything a few times, so it should be pretty clean. Um, and then as always, you know, if you wanted to just go back like normal, you would just BYOS off, um, which is going to clear your thing, right? So if I turn BYOS on and BYOS custom, um, it, it actually, uh, so I, okay, hold on. So I misspoke. So you can actually set your BYOS custom 
turn BYOS off, go back to your normal thing, and then basically toggle between the two, right? So you can set BYOS custom uh, back on, uh, unless if you clear this. Now, clicking on the window, when the UI option is there, that'll clear it, or if you type clear, clear, um, this will clear it out entirely, like that, and BYOS off, and BYOS on, uh, custom should say there's nothing, see, custom set, sets it, BYOS off, right, I'm going to start putting in my regular spells, if I turn my BYOS on, because I have a custom set, it should put the stuff in my custom set, and be BYOS custom, boom, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So anyway, I'm going to snip this up and uh, see if I can shorten this a little bit and get this posted. Um, some of the classes actually already have this. It's just not in the window because I didn't feel like putting it in the window until I did the video. Um, so slap yourself a little uh, a little BYOS custom and see uh, and see how that works. Um, anyway, I'm going to put this video up. Um, I need to make a little guide for it and all of that jazz, and then uh, we'll kind of go from there. So, uh, anyway, I hope you guys are all enjoying EverQuest at the moment. It's been a little stressful for everybody in the MacroQuest world in the past couple of months with just everything. Everything has been stressful, right? Um, between 64-bit and, uh, you know, the transitioning to uh, MacroQuest, um, and obviously all of the daybreak stuff, um, it's, it's been, it's been rough. Um, I tell you though, we have a lot of really amazing people in this community and I've had a lot of really good conversations. Um, I've stopped a lot of conversations when someone sends me a message and be like, Hey, sick, I got this crazy idea. And did you ever think about that somebody might be outside your window and looking at your screen? And I'll be like, um, all right, well, uh, let's just. No, let's just end. No, no, no. Mm -mm. We're not doing that. Anyhow, um, so hang in there. Things will be okay. Uh, all the uh, developers of MacroQuest and contributors of MacroQuest and uh, all the developers and contributors for Red Guides, we all love this community very, very much. And uh, we are all doing everything within each of our individual and collective capacities to try and make sure we can do this for years to come. So uh, that's kind of the best anybody can promise is that uh, we love you guys and uh, we love this game and we love MacroQuest. So this is way off topic by now, uh, but I will talk to you soon.